In lesson 4.6, we're going to look at the final way to show that two triangles are congruent, and that's by the HL theorem. HL stands for hypotenuse leg. We're going to learn here today that the hypotenuse leg theorem only applies if the triangles are right triangles. The essential question that we'll be answering here in lesson 4.6 is how do you determine if two right triangles are congruent? Our learning target is I can determine if two right triangles are congruent. I should mention now that HL can be used to show right triangles are congruent, but any of the four triangle congruent statements that we learned in 4.4 or 4.5, those apply to all triangles. So side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, those apply to all triangles, including right triangles. The theorem that we're going to learn today, HL, is only for right triangles. So you might want to write that down on your paper. These are the five total ways that we can use to show that two triangles are congruent. Let's look in detail at what the HL theorem is. Before we get through the HL theorem, what is the hypotenuse and what is the leg? Well, in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side. It will always be across from the right angle. So if you find the right angle and you find like the corner of the right angle box, it's going to point to the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is this side right here. You're going to go ahead and type that in the interactive notebook. The leg is the two sides of a right triangle that are not the hypotenuse. So this is the legs. Each of those is a leg. Now, the leg of a right triangle is a little bit different from the leg of an isosceles triangle. I know we talked about legs with isosceles triangles. Well, in isosceles triangle, the legs are the two congruent sides. In a right triangle, the legs are not necessarily congruent. In fact, they're usually not congruent. Okay, they're just the two sides that are not the hypotenuse. They're the two sides that are forming the 90 angle. The hypotenuse leg theorem tells us that if the hypotenuse and leg of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. We can abbreviate the hypotenuse leg theorem as HL, H for hypotenuse, L for leg. When you're checking to see if hypotenuse leg theorem works, you first have to check, do you have right triangles? Because this theorem only applies if the triangles are right triangles. You have to have either the 90 degree box symbol like this or a 90 degree angle. It could be labeled with just like 90 degrees like that. That would be fine too. That would still show it's a right angle. Well, in my diagram here, see how this side with the two tick marks there is the hypotenuse? I'm going to put an H by it. And if we go here, that's also the H. Notice how the two hypotenuses are marked the same way, H and H. The other two sides there that are marked with the one tick mark are the legs. That's the two sides that are not the hypotenuse. So these two triangles would be congruent by HL.